Jungle. Eagles put in mourning as they await Supreme Court's judgment on Namdi Kanu. See who died in Biafran land. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time and where you're listening to this news from. This is Morning News. Welcome back once again to this channel. This is Afri's Concept TV. News in details. In a sober announcement, the Ezefe Nasty of Ibo Oku shares the arts ranking news of the passing of their illustrious Patrick Nwadike Dr. Chukwemeka Ezefe, Comrade Dr. Ezefe, a man of many cola, a man of many accolades and also accomplishment, breathed his last at 6 p.m. yesterday at the Federal Medical Center in Abuja. A prominent figure in Nigerian politics, Dr. Chukwemeka Ezefe, served with distinction as a federal permanent secretary, leaving an indelible marks on the bureaucratic, bureaucratic landscape. His journey in government continued as the first executive governor of Anambra State, where his visionary leadership contributed to the state's development. Beyond state boundaries, Dr. Ezefe's influence extended to the national stage, serving as a political advisor to the president and boldly venturing into the realm of presidential aspiration. His multifaceted career spanned rules and that showcased his dedication to public service and commitment to shaping the political landscapes in Nigeria. The late Dr. Ezefe's impact reached beyond the political arena, touching the lives of many and hearing him, the title of Nkwadike, symbolizing strength and resilience. As a man of wisdom and district distinction, it was a source of inspiration for aspiring leaders and a beacon of peace for those he serves. Details surrounding the life of achievement of this distinguished son of Igbo Kwe will be unveiled in the due course as the Ezefi dynasty prepares to bid welfare to their beloved patriarch. Plans for a state burial, a tribute befitting his legacy, will also be announced, allowing the nation to pay its respect to a man who dedicated his life to the betterment of Nigeria. As Nigerians mourn, as Nigeria mourns the lowest of a remarkable statesman, the Ezefi dynasty invite the public to join them in remembering and celebrating the impactful life of Nwadike, Dr. Chukwemeka Ezefi. In honoring his memory, the nation reflects on the contributions of a visionary leaders who left an enduring legacy and also an indomitable spirit that will inspire generations to come. Thank you viewers for listening to this news. Hmm. This is unbelievable. I know with this man's death, Namikano's ruling or the trial will never be postponed, will never be adjourned. You only have a last minute for him and after then Call to proceed on Namikanu's ruling, which is today. For sure, Namikanu will be released. Ibos will only mourn for some minutes 
and after that Nabikan's ruling will commence and Nabikan will definitely come out from the detention. So viewers what is your take on the news I just had? The comment concerning this news will be very much appreciated. Please don't hesitate to drop any of your comment down below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button for more updates. Thank you.